Today's video comes with the title, God is Not a Name. And the title comes from a book by David Bentley Hart. And what I want to talk about is, what do we mean by the word God? And I want to use the analogy of a carver removing from a block of marble that which isn't the statue. And I want to start with my most childhood picture of God. And I want to say, that's not God. And that would be the picture of the clouds in the sky. And then there's this wise old man sitting in the clouds. He had a beard, eyes, a big smiley face. And he sort of looked down from on high and made sure that everything was okay. That's not God. It's my childhood image of God, I know, but it's not God. So the next picture, if you will, is a combination of the great architect who sits down, designs, and plans the universe in all its wonderful complexity with uh, stars and animals. And then, a bit like a footballer in a sense, runs up, gives it a big old kick and a flying start, and the universe progresses essentially unaided. This would be a picture uh, that might be uh, in accord with images of, say, the Big Bang and science, or might be in accord with a biblical literalism and six-day creationism. This is the picture that God is the start and designer, but then steps back. Once again, this is actually not the picture of God that classical theology points us to. Appealing, but not God. So, I want to quickly point to something that might be the presence of God. And the only analogy I can think of is we often sort of think of time and space as being a bit like a graph. And any event in the history of, of time and space, you can plot on that graph. It happened at a certain point in space, and it happened at a certain time in history, including, for example, the origin of everything up to and including today. I know this is messy. What I want to say is, as much as that little graph that I drew depends on the board that I draw it on, so the universe depends on God for its continued ongoing existence. And that's why, why I say God is not a name. Because a name is something that we give, give to a discrete object in there. We might call it Steve, or we might call it the sun. But names are for things that are contained within that graph. And God, as a descriptor, does not apply to things that are in that graph, but rather that which is the sustainer of everything on that graph. So thank you.